Good morning, pets, bitches, and losers, and everybody in between. Um, it has been a fucked week with this uh, no surgery. So that's what I'm going to be talking about a little in this, if you want to hear. And I'm sure there's some kink stuff. I just can't right now. Oh, my God. So I still have my stitches in. I know it's a little. It's not too bad. Um, so I came out of surgery fine as far as like, you know, I felt okay. Um, no issues with anesthesia or any of that shit. So yay. Um, although the nurse that was in, you know, my recovery room, she was like, the tip of your nose looks really blue. Like, really just not right. So she even took a picture and sent it to my doctor. Mind you, my doctor is on her way to the airport um, because we tried to find her and she was already gone. And, uh, God, that cat looks like my cat. Um, it's not. So um, she took a picture and sent it to the doctor's phone showing her that my nose didn't look, it should look more red, pinkish, you know, not blue, uh, purpley. So, um, she didn't hear anything from her, uh, you know, whatever. So I go home. I mean, it, uh, the worst thing was they put these splints in your nose and those fucking things were awful. Uh, they just were so uncomfortable. You can't breathe. My lips were so dried out. It was unbelievable. So that was Friday. Friday seemed fine. Saturday, fine. Everything, you know, it started looking more pink on the end than purple. And then Sunday. I woke up Sunday. And let me fucking tell you. My upper lip was almost touching my nose. My nose was so swollen. And around the incisions and everything, it was just angry red. So I call uh, the office and get the doctor on call. And uh, I talked to him. And I we were thinking maybe it was because I had woke up and I was sleeping on my side. You're supposed to kind of sleep with your head elevated above your heart. Um, but so that could have caused some swelling. Okay. So I talked to him. All right. All right. You know, meanwhile, I've been doing everything I should be doing with my nose. I've been taking my antibiotics. I've, uh, been cleaning it, you know, the whole nine yards. So, um, Monday, it's gone down a little bit, but not a lot. And I'm just like, and the incision is just looking really pissed off. And uh, so I'm like, okay. So I call and I get an appointment to go in and see another doctor at my doctor's office who she, you know, they're in the same office for him to check it out. Because I'm like, my nose is big. I don't think it's supposed to be this big. Uh -oh. So, um, <laughs> let me just put it to you this way. The nurse is like looking at me like, Ooh. um, I'm like, is that supposed to be this big? Is it? And he's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. so the doctor comes in long story short, I have an infection. How did I get it? Don't know. Um, he took the splints out, which, oh my God, that was amazing to get those out. And it didn't hurt as bad as what I thought everybody else, you know, was saying. Oh my God, it feels like razor wire going through your nose. It was not that bad. There was like one, one little part where I was like, oh, but not that bad. So anyways, the splints are kind of pressed against your, uh, septum. Um, to, uh, I guess hold it in place or something like that as, you know, that first like couple days to a week or sometimes two weeks, depending on what kind of surgery you had. Now I had my septum straight because this side was bowed out and I had problems breathing. So anywho, he took the splints out and it felt so good, but behind the splints, 
let's just say he had to use like a little vacuum tool to uh, vacuum out some pus. Yeah. Ugh. And I could smell it. I was like, oh. So thank God I was like, yeah, I got to get in there and see this, you know, see somebody. And he, he was, you know, like you could have a staph infection, you could have this. And I'm like, he's like, I need to give you some stronger antibiotics. I don't ever take antibiotics unless I absolutely have to. So the Cipro that he had, that they had put me on in the beginning, I would have thought would have worked fine, but it didn't, obviously. Um, we're not, who knows how it happened. He thought that maybe the, um, the um, splints were causing a lot of stress to my nose, which was impeding the blood a little bit or whatever. He it doesn't know, but like the moment he took the splints off, my nose just went, Whoa. oh, I mean, it was so, oh God, it was instant relief. So sometimes the body wants to reject shit. So it could have been trying to reject them. I don't know. I could have done something. The doctor, who knows? You just never know. Whenever you have an open fucking wound, you just never know. So anyways, put me on some hardcore antibiotics, a steroid to get the swelling down, and uh, some uh, anti-antibiotic uh, salve that I have to put on my incision and up my nose. Uh, yesterday, I went to went back to him. Um, he looked at it. I was like, looks better, doesn't it? And I even saw the, the nurse <laughs> that I saw the day I came in and they were like, Oh my God. Yeah. And the doctor even said to me, he goes, I was really worried. I was really worried. Um, he goes, you're still not out of the woods. I have like these two crusty ass scab things that are not going to be attractive for my clients to see today, but I have to work and um, I'll just call myself Franken nose. Um, there's like this bump here and one here. I think they're, I think there's some type of sutures. So they're making my nose stick out here. I'm not too happy about that. I see my doctor on Monday. So <sighs> yeah, it'll be nice to, you know, talk to her about all this and Hopefully these little bumpy things, uh, those come out because this one feels like a fucking rock and my nose should go down more. Uh, I like my profile, the tip right now, not so much, but it, it, I didn't get it for the aesthetic part. I wanted to really kind of keep my nose the same. Um, I can't feel the tip. Um, so yeah, it's just been a really fucking shit week. Uh, five days of it. i was feeling pretty shitty, um, because of the infection. Um, yeah. Ugh. So that's what I've been doing. And that's why I haven't been video recording or doing anything. Um, getting kind of interesting on Twitter cause I was fucking bored shitless and I was just kind of sitting on my computer. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think to think if there's anything well how was everybody's Christmas did you guys enjoy I saw a lot of uh, people on Twitter being like I hate this time of year the holidays suck I'm alone and da -da. I get it like I totally get it um, I get it people get lonely we, we people are tribal we like our tribe so, I do think that most of the time people that are in the sex work industry or whatever, and I won't say everybody, so don't fucking go, go ape shit on me, but you know, a lot of people that I've worked with in the past, let me just put it to you this way, the family dynamic isn't the best. Um... I don't have family. I've talked about this before. My family's my kids, my little puppy dogs. Um, so, you know, I, I used to get super depressed and everything like that about the holidays. And now I'm just kind of like, thank God I have nothing to do. 
Thank God I don't have to go over to somebody's house. Thank God I don't have. And that's, <laughs> that's kind of sad. When I was younger, I always had to do something. I always had to be doing something. But now life is just so much more busier. So yeah. Um, have you guys heard of Fet Life? So Fet Life is basically a website for fetish people that are into fetish. It's kind of like a, so, a networking site social networking site um yeah so uh i joined that a while ago i don't really put a lot of stuff on it um but it was funny because i posted something and then this this sub is like hey i just read your thing and i'm like uh i just you know i was wondering are you still looking for a submissive or a uh, play partner. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've done financial domination before, uh, but you know, I'm, I, I don't do, I don't like just doing online. I, I'd rather do in real life. Okay, you're probably wondering like, why is she tripping? Very first word. Hey, you're a sub? And that's how you're coming into my DMs is by, hey. So I was like, hmm. yeah, even if I was wanting to consider you, you would have to fucking like tighten your game up because I'm sorry, dude. You don't know me. And for you to talk to me that way, especially coming at me as a submissive, makes no fucking yeah, whatever. So, anywho, um, I respond in capital letters. Hey, I only do online work, and now I'm not looking for a play partner. I was just like, play partner? No. No, 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 bitch. No. So, anywho, yeah. I was just like, this is fet life. You would think these motherfuckers would do better than the people on Twitter. Because Twitter, you always get in the DMs. Hey. Hi. Oh, my God. It's like, mm -mm, no. Nip. Nip. So, yeah. If you're going to approach Madame, do it fucking correctly, people. It's really not that fucking hard. You know? Hello, mistress. Hello, queen. Hello, goddess. Whatever. But not, hey. Uh, it just drives me absolutely nuts. Um, so, yeah. There was just a lot of ridiculousness on uh, Twitter. And people. And subs. It's just like days of our tweet. I swear to God. It's just such a fucking drama fest. And I don't understand why these girls just continue to let it fucking roll. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's like, it's like, just stop. Just delete, move the fuck on. Why are you like getting all, you know, I think I've just grown tired of, even if I know shit is right, you get to a point where I'm like, I'm not going to fucking argue anymore fuck you. Your, your opinion to me does not matter like that. So I'm moving the fuck on. I don't care. Um, if it's, you know, you're having a debate or argument with somebody you do care about, or that does matter in your life. I could understand, you know, trying to fight for what you really believe it to be or is, but this just constant fucking, you know, if you guys, seriously, can't be too fucking sensitive in this fucking world. You really can't. You really cannot. There is going to be so much shit that you're going to come across that is going to offend the fuck out of you. You know? But, guess what? Some people like that. Hey, I'm very upfront about shit I can't stand. You know? So, yeah. Um, oh! One thing I had a sub contact me Goddess, I would like to worship you. I was like, okay. Read my pin tweet and read my tweets. 
see if I'm even the person you want me to be in your little head. Um, and uh, I think sometimes uh, a lot of subs, especially on Twitter, just come across like one post. They don't really like, oh, I like that post. Oh, let me go look at the rest. Uh, a lot of them don't. They just go off of one post and then you find out. It's like, mm-mm, I'm not the one for you, bitch. So he uh, comes back with, but that's going to take so much time. You have so many tweets. <laughs> Block. If you are not willing to do the footwork on finding the proper dom, I don't want you as a sub and I... I'm sure that I'll be fucking hearing you fucking rant on Twitter about how you fucking got ripped off by some sugar baby. So, if you're fucking lazy, no. Oh my God. So that was another thing that irritated the shit out of me. Um, what else? I don't know. It's just been like seven days of TV and snuggling with puppy dogs, which was good. But this damn nose thing, I look like I got some weird nose ring in right now. Do I breathe better? Um, yeah, especially on the right side that was uh, the one that was obstructed. Uh, the left side, like I said, I have that weird thing, so I feel like it's impeding my breathing a little bit. I don't know. Monday, I'll find out more. Thank God. Um, I just hope, uh, I just hope I don't ever have to go through this again. The people that fucking get multiple nose jobs, I don't know how the fuck. I guess it would not honestly have been that bad if the infection wouldn't have happened. That's, you know... Yeah, but it did, and uh, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? When the doctor was sitting there, and I knew he just was like, Ooh, had that look on his face, I thought to myself, this is my fucking nose. It is in the center of my fucking face. It's not like I can cover it up. Like, if you get a bad boob job, you can cover those bitches up. This, not so much. So, yeah, I was freaking out. I freaked out. Uh, I actually shed a tear in his in the office when he was talking to me because I understood the severity of what was going on with my face. And like I even said, yesterday, he was like, I was super worried for you. So, yeah. But anywho, I'm at work. I haven't been here in seven days. Uh, and my book is full today. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll get more kinkier later. Uh, but you know what you're supposed to do. Tribute.